Today on Beers TV, we're going to talk carbon blocks. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of Beers TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to talk carbon blocks. What they're for, why you need them, why we created the BRS Universal Block, and some of the differences. First, let's give a 20 second overview of what all these filters are for. An RODI system is a collection of filters that all have unique filtration properties. Used together in series, they protect each other and progressively filter the water. The sediment filter removes dirt, sediment, and suspended particles from the water to protect the carbon blocks from clogging. The carbon blocks remove general chemical contaminants, many of which would otherwise pass through or damage the RO membrane. The RO membrane will remove dissolved solids, salts, metals, and elements like nitrate and some forms of ammonia. The deionization stage will remove most of the elements the RO membrane misses or not particularly effective at, like phosphate. Net result is ultra-pure water ideal for the reef tank. The carbon blocks are activated carbon which has been powdered to maximize available surface area combined with a binder and extruded into a cylindrical tube. These tubes or cartridges eliminate channeling and are very effective at increasing contact time between the water and the carbon's internal pore network. There are two main reasons RODI systems utilize carbon blocks. First one applies to basically every common water source out there, including city and well water. Carbon is effective at removing a wide array of chemicals and other contaminants found in our water supplies, including some heavy metals. VOCs associated with pesticides and herbicides, disinfection byproducts like trihalomethanes, chemicals like benzene, dichloroethylene, carbon tetrachloride, dioxin, styrene, chloroform, and vinyl chloride. Really hard to know which contaminants are the most critical for a reef tank or what's in your particular water. So it's wise to just try to remove as many as we can. Second reason is a treat for common disinfectants like chlorine and chloramines. Both chlorine and chloramines will oxidize the surface of the thin film membrane, which will reduce performance and membrane lifespan. Both chlorine and chloramines also readily pass through the membrane. The most recent test I did showed over 80% of the chloramines in our water will pass through a standard membrane, which means you're going to increase DI resin consumption as well. If your DI resin cartridge is nearing the end of its useful life, it's also possible these disinfectants or residual ammonia from the chloramines could make it through the entire system and into your product water. So it's obviously important to maintain your carbon blocks and treat for disinfectants before they reach the membrane. So this is why we spent the last year testing carbon from all the world's leaders in carbon block technology. What we really want is a block that universally covers as many water sources and contaminants as possible because none of us have any desire to research our water supplies and try to figure out what filters we're supposed to be using. The One Micron BRS Universal Block is the highest performing block in our industry at treating for chlorine and chloramines. The things that make it universally great at treating for these elements also make it one of the highest performers at general chemical removal as well. There are a few main differences, starting with just the volume of carbon contained in the filter. We cut a BRS Universal Block in half as well as another block common in our industry and you can see that our Universal Block simply contains way more actual carbon, something you can also confirm by weight. The carbon we use also has been specially treated to drastically increase the volume of catalytic sites within the carbon's pore network, which is why it performs so well at properly treating for chloramines. In addition to increasing the volume of catalytic sites, the manufacturer we're working with also uses a unique binder system which maximizes the availability of these sites. And part of the reason why the universal block outperforms all of the competitive chloramine-specific blocks in our industry. The BRS Universal Block is capable of treating for chlorine up to 35,000 gallons and chloramines up to 3,500 gallons. Another difference here is our block's end or replacement points are rated for 90% reduction on chlorine and 85% reduction on chloramines, which is likely where the average reefer is going to replace them. Most of the competitive filters in our industry are rated as low as 50% removal, which is somewhat misleading since we'd all changed them long before that. For those of you that know your city uses chlorine, we also have a BRS 5 micron chlorine and VOC specialized carbon block which has almost double the capacity of most 5 micron blocks, partially because it also simply contains more carbon as well, but also because it's a high performance coconut shell carbon which is known to work particularly well on chlorine and trihalomethanes or disinfection byproducts. Keep in mind that all these carbon blocks are commonly rated at one gallon per minute and on a common 75 gallon per day RODI system we're typically operating at less than a quarter gallon per minute with more than four times the contact time. So these filters could actually outperform these numbers significantly if you keep them free of sediment by utilizing and maintaining a high quality sediment filter like the GE PureTrex or Premium RO Save.Zs. 
One last note is the filter lifespans are estimates based on some common parameters. You can use these to get a general idea of when to change your filters, but for best performance, it's wise to pick up a chlorine test kit or some super easy to use test strips like these free and total chlorine strips from Lamont. If you have any questions or information on carbon blocks you'd like to share with your fellow reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.